in sequence alignment we want to measure similarity between two sequences what is the way to assign these two sequences we will look into different distance measures that are used for this alignment approach number one is added distance which is also called Hamming distance if i define this added distance that would be it is basically minimum number of letters by which the two words differ in this slide i have given example of two english words which are pair and tear if i see that there is only a difference of one word that is p and t so i can say that added distance between these two words is only one character so what happens is that summing the number of mismatches when two words which need to be aligned i get the total hamming distance in this case there is only one word difference but what happens is in biological se sequences it is okay if we have two sequences and they have the similar length then that is okay but what happens most of the times there are different gaps such as here in this example i have given alignment with the other word is ligament so number of uh, words number of characters in the first word is uh, roughly 9 and the, in the other one is 8 so there is one gap dis difference between these two so what we have to look for we have to look for three things that is num number of matches between the two sequences number of mismatches and the third thing is number of missing words that are called gaps the third second thing is longest common subsequence what is longest common subsequence subsequence is basically part of a complete sequence and longest common subsequence is a subsequence that is uh, 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 available throughout the complete sequence for example if i take this example x is equal to a b c d d a b then what happen the bca is a common subsequence that is present in both of these two sequences but what is the longest common subsequence that would be of four characters that is bcba and bdab so longest com common subsequence can have gaps in between its definition the third one is n-grams models this model is basically taken from text processing and what happens this n and what is this gram n is total number of characters and grams are characters for example if i have unigram unigram means one gram one gram means one character then bigram two characters three grams three characters four grams five grams and so on so what happens if i take low value of grams that is unigram the similarity score will be very high but with increasing value of grams that is from one to n grams scoring similarity scoring score will decrease so for example i have shown two examples here if i have a word radio and i convert it into two grams that is the first one that would be ra two characters then ad two characters di and io for three grams it would be rad ad and dio so what is the basically alignment evaluation techniques which alignment is better if i have give you an example which i have shown here that there are two examples here one technique is this one where i have taken the first sequence in the upper place and the second sequence lower down and the other one is the second one where i have reversed this alignment so what approach is better if i want to measure the better approach then i have to decide some scoring mechanism in this uh, slide i have got a scoring mechanism where i am assigning numbers for match score which is provided by plus 2 then i am saying for mismatch it is minus 1 and then for gaps gaps means there would be either insertion or deletion for insertion and deletion i am giving score of minus 2 so based on this scoring scheme i can see which technique would be better in our case since this second one it will have more matches like it is showing six matches and the first one is showing five matches so our way guess can be that this technique should be better again number of mismatches which are much less in this second one again this is better and then insertions and deletions again the first will have more insertion and deletion so I, we can conclude that the second technique is better than the first one